So are you a pessimist or an optimist about the future? No, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about it because I think people have really had enough. But I think people need to keep in mind, too, that like the online information space even now is more manipulated uh, than it's ever been. And I think most Americans and people generally are just really like checked out and really aren't buying all of this. And so much is going on. There's so many like sophisticated bots in this chat GPT era that are trying to make us feel pessimistic, I think. Uh, because if people, I mean, um, I feel like this happened in 2016 where they tried to demoralize people by being like putting out all these polls saying like Hillary Clinton's definitely going to win. It's like 99% yeah. probable. And then it wasn't like that at all. I think they do that kind of influence ops all the time um, to try and, you know, demoralize people. And so I think it's very important to spend time in the real world and not just online, specifically when you're trying to gauge public opinion about these things. And when you do that, it's very hard not to be hopeful because people get it. And I think, you know, whether in the U.S. or Chile, I mean, people know that the big banks, the powerful corporations and the politicians who were in bed with them steal from the people and want to keep stealing. And if you, you know, approach it from that, it, you know, People get that and don't want that to continue and are fed up and sort of checked out, you know. Uh, but if you go online, I mean, it's a totally different world half the time. So hey, I don't know. It, it helps to unplug to keep your head straight. 